Okay, let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and open the launcher. It's called a Spear Launcher. It's available in the Android App Store completely free. You are given the option to use as default, uh, but for the sake of the review, I'm not going to be doing that. Okay, so as you can see, it is very iOS-like looking. Um, there is only a few things that aren't iOS-like, which include the Android apps, which pictures don't change, and the pull-down notification bar, and there may be a couple other things. Um, sorry. Uh, okay, so... It does give you access to your notification bar, as you see, um, and I think that's really cool, but the cooler part is that you're allowed to multitask. Um, unfortunately, you're not allowed to multitask in other applications, so you'll have to go to your home screen, but it also could serve as a really, really nice battery saver because it automatically exits the app from multitasking. But since it's Android, it will keep up the applications that you always use, are set to always be used. Also, it does come with a search. It says search my device, but unfortunately, unlike iOS, you can't search your device. You search Google. Uh, but, you know, there's things you have to give up because they can't completely copy iOS. As you can see, they also do give you folders. They give you the option to add apps to the folders and remove apps from the folders. They also give you the option to rename your folders. So let me just show you that. Okay, and now it is renamed dot 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 dot. Okay. Also, you are allowed to change your background. Um, you can change it to whatever you want. You can edit pictures and put them as your background. It's exactly like iOS uh, and now you can see that they do have the page dots at the bottom to indicate what page you're on all your Android apps from your app drawer are now placed on your home screen so you do have a lot of apps and all of them they don't look very good on the iOS but you can put them in folders and that would probably look a lot better which is why I do enjoy having folders uh, one thing that they do have that's like iOS is they have the dock at the bottom. It's the reflective dock. Also, some of their applications do take on the iOS look, but when you go ahead and open them, they have the Android theming. Uh, and there's nothing really else to this launcher um it's very simple just like ios it's nothing too special but it's a really cool launcher to show off to your friends um i definitely recommend getting this launcher one because it's free and two because it's fun to have and you don't have to make it your permanent launcher but whenever you feel like it you can go into it and just use it uh, and like android has the i some of the ios some of the ios applications so, you will be able to get things like Angry Birds and things like Evernote and Cut the Rope and, yeah. Also, another really cool application I found is Iris. It's still in alpha, but it's Siri backwards. It, it's not anything like Siri, but when they finish it, it will be almost exactly like Siri. Right now, all it can do is pretty much search the internet, and I believe it can open an application, but for the sake of the, like, the video, I will make another review on Siri. So that about covers the review of this awesome-looking iOS launcher for Android. I am running this on my rooted Samsung Droid Charge. It does not require a root, but I personally recommend having roots because it will run faster. Um, and please comment, rate, subscribe. And if you have any questions on this launcher, do not hesitate to message us. And thank you for watching. One more thing is please keep on checking our YouTube channel for uh, a 
contest slash giveaway, not really a contest. Once we get a certain amount of views on one of our videos, we're going to give away a $15 iTunes gift card. Uh, more contest information will be released when the, in when the video is released, but I thought it would be good to have you guys stay on the lookout for the f iTunes gift card giveaway. Um, also, the prize is not determined yet, but we believe it will be a $15 iTunes gift card. Okay, thanks for watching.